Bonjour, bonjour et bienvenue. J'espère que vous allez bien. Hello, hello everyone and welcome. I hope that you're doing well. So in today's lesson, we'll be looking at the basics of French verb conjugation. And we're starting with the verb être. So we're going to break down how to conjugate this verb and we're going to do some activities to help us to put it into context and to put it into practice, okay? So let's enter into the wonderful world of French verb conjugation and sentence construction. On y va. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's go. Right. right and when we talk about conjugating a verb we're talking about causing the verb to agree with the pronoun so last week we learned about pronouns je tu il est long, nous vous il elle and we weren't learned we learned what those meant right so this is the verb être everybody with me so far and when we're conjugating the verb être when we're breaking it down and causing it to agree with the pronouns i you he, she, one, we, formal, you, and they, masculine and feminine, right? When we're breaking it down and making it agree, this is how we do that. We say, je suis, okay? And that means I am. We say, tu es, that means you are. So what you're seeing here, the suis is the form of the verb être that you use with je. Everybody follow me with that? Everybody understood that? Not sweet. Everybody say je suis. Je suis. Je suis. Sweet. Then we have tu es. Tu es. Tu es. Then we have il tu est. On est. Tu. The reason that we greet, we group these three together is because they conjugate the verbs the same way. Every single verb that you'll ever meet in French, they all they're gonna conjugate the verbs the same way. No et means to be, right? And it's an irregular verb, but that means it doesn't have a pattern. Later on, you'll learn about that. Okay, so you just have to learn this one by heart. That's why songs are nice to use to help you to remember how to conjugate certain verbs because they don't have a pattern. All right, because they're irregular. No, je suis, everybody say je suis. Je suis. Tu es. Tu es. Tu es. Il, elle, on est. You are on air. Nous sommes. Nous sommes. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Vous êtes. Vous êtes. Vous êtes. Il, elle, sont. Il, elle, sont. Let's go again. Je suis. Je suis. Tu es. Tu es. Tu es. Il, elle, on est. Il, elle, on est. Nous sommes. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Vous êtes. Il, elle, sont. Il, elle, sont. All right. Hold on. Sorry about that. Now, there's another song that I could teach you to help you to remember um, the difference. The conjugation, right? So it goes, everybody knows the song, Oh, and the Saints Go Marching In? Oh. Yes, sir. All right, let's sing that song really quickly. Let's go. After three, on the twelve. Oh, and the Saints Go Marching In. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, let's sing it together. When the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Now listen very ca carefully, right? Listen very closely. So it goes. Je suis tu es. Il est, elle est. 
Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Can we go again with that one very quickly? Let's go. After three, on y va. En deux, trois. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Can we all try that? Go ahead. This is the third part. Il est on air. Okay. No, it's il est on air. Let me take out the on. All right, so we're taking out the on. You're not seeing the on. So it's je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Je suis, tu es. Il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont, okay? So I'm going to send you another link. It's, that's not, I didn't make up that song. I got that one from my... Okay, so we just learned how to conjugate the verb être by song and also by just breaking it down regularly. Uh, this is a recap from this week's class and we'll be looking at in this slide how exactly we conjugate the verb et and use it in sentences. Now we would have been doing this from before when we were talking about a nationality like je suis Jamaican, I am Jamaican or je suis, je suis American, je suis American, I am American, male or female, right? So we're putting the correct form of the verb être in the blank spaces. No, we'll also be looking at Everybody say agree with the pronoun. That the Adjective. I agree with the pronoun. All right, so that's what you're doing when you're conjugating a verb, okay? In the so same way that, that in English, right the verb is to be. But you see, I am. Let's look at what am in the is the verb to be. Conjugated. But am is I agreeing am. with the, with no, the pronoun I. The pronoun song from last week. You don't week. say you am. You, you say you are. I come are is agreeing with the pronoun and you. Only that I follow what I'm saying so far. Yes, yes. All right, let's try and put it in context, right? So we're doing, we're creating, we're conjugating the verb être in the blank spaces. Definitely. So we're putting the correct form of the verb être in the blank spaces, all right? Now, what is le garçon? What is le garçon in English? A boy. It means the boy. The boy. boy. Le, the. the boy. Le garçon, the boy. Very good. All right? Okay. So now, we need to conjugate the verb être in the blank spaces. Let me do you guys a solid and conjugate it here, okay? So we have je suis, then we have tu es, then we have il, elle, en, est, then we have vous êtes, then we have, sorry, what's missing? Go ahead, what's missing, Anastasia? New song. What were you saying, new song? Miss, can you hear me? Because just now you weren't hearing me. All right. Then we have Ilel song. Okay. So we have just, I've just done you guys a sudden and I've broken down the pronoun conjugation for you here. Now, when you get a sentence, right? And the thing that you, mom, oh. When you get a sentence, yes? And what you're seeing here, the subject of the sentence, right? It's not a pronoun. It's not je. It's not maman. It's not je. It's not tu. It's not il, elle, or en. It's not nous. It's not vous. It's not il or elle. Those are the pronouns. So whenever you get a sentence and you're supposed to conjugate the verb in the blank spaces, right? Everybody with me? Once it is that you have a noun and not a pronoun, what is the first thing you think you need to do? What is the first thing you think you need to do? Somebody. Look at the gender. Mm -hmm. Fine, look at the gender. And after you look at the gender, what are you looking at? Good response. What, what do you need to identify? Miss the... 
Miss Aparna, that matches the agenda. Yes, girl. Oh my God, I think I'm giving you a price today, girl. What 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 do you use? Did you sell a lime, girl? Miss, my phone don't take credit. Oh, yes, right. man. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you do is you identify the gender of the subject and you identify which pronoun can substitute for the subject. Remember we did that last week, girls? We did that like for the whole of last week and I gave you an exercise on it, on Edmodo, right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be able to identify the subject, right? And then identify the gender of the subject and then like know which pronoun can substitute for the subject, okay? So that's what we're doing. That's why it's important to know that so that we can conjugate the verb. Okay, so let's go. So, le garçon is the boy. All right? Is it masculine or feminine? Masculine. Is it singular or plural? Singular. singular. How do we know it is singular? Because there's not an S at the end of le or garçon. Very good. Okay, and the stage is on fire, girl. Go, girl. Hey. So, le garçon. It's le, masculine, singular, one boy, the boy, okay? Wonderful. So which pronoun could substitute for le garçon? Miss E. -L. E -L. There we go. E -L. E -L. Okay. We be learning up in here. I'm so happy. All right, so that was the right. il, okay? So il can substitute for le garçon. Now that we've identified that il can substitute for le garçon, how do we conjugate the verb et right here in the blank space, right here? How do we conjugate et? Monsieur put a. Spell it, please. E, e S, S T. E. It's E S. We were talking about what would go in the blank space right here, and we said it was EST, okay? EST, the garçon est grand, okay? That's the only thing we're putting in the blank space, ladies. We're not putting the pronoun il in the blank space. That's incorrect. That would be like saying the garçon, he big. The garçon, he book, big. The boy, he big. That makes no sense, all right? So what we need is the verb here. And we're saying le garçon est grand. The boy mm -hmm. is tall. Okay, big or tall? Tall is what I'm looking for. The boy is tall. Not the le garçon il grand. That is the boy he he tall. That's not proper English or French. Okay? So the pronoun here is given. What would go in the blank space here? Some. Come again? Some. S O M. Some is. Okay, guys, it's not some s, okay, it's some, some. It's pronounced, it's, it's spelled some s, but it's some. Some, very good, some, okay, nous some. Nous some belle, what does that mean? Mrs. that we, belle? Belle, nous some belle, what does that mean? We are. It means we are good looking. We are beautiful, no matter what they say. Beautiful, we are beautiful, okay? We are beautiful, nous some belle. Okay, we are beautiful. Okay, les chaises blanc bleu. One person, please go ahead, raise your hand or unmute your microphone and let's go. Tell me first which pronoun can substitute for les chaises. One person, go ahead, let me hear what you have to say. Les chaises. Go ahead, anybody, any takers? Les chaises. One person. Yes, do I? No, honestly, I need to hear somebody else. Thank you very much. Anastasia, okay? Because your phone doesn't take credit. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. Les chaises, two. Go ahead, Dana. Miss, you could put les chaises. Les, les chaises sont 
You could put song in the blank space, miss. Okay, how do you spell song? S O N T. That's S O N T. S O N T. Song. Les chaises sont bleues. All right. Now, did everybody follow what we what just happened there? What is les chaises? What does les chaises mean in English? The chairs. The chairs that we're sitting on. And is les chaises singular or plural? Plural. It's plural. How do we know les chaises is plural? It has an S at the end of le, okay? That's very important. See the difference here? We have le here as opposed to le here, le chez, okay? And it has an S at the end. Now, what gender is chez? What gender is chez? Le chez. It's feminine. Feminine. It's feminine. So which, which pronoun could substitute for le chez? L. 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 Very good. It would be L. Okay. So if we're looking for a pronoun, it would be L. If I ask you for the pronoun, it would be L. Les chaises, L. Because it's feminine plural. Now, please note something that's happening over here. So what does les chaises sont bleu mean? The chairs are blue. The chairs are blue. Beautiful. Okay. Now, listen to me real good. Real, real good. You notice what's happening here? ES. The word is normally blue. Blue. Blue means blue, right? But because les chaises, une chaise, one chair, une chaise, you'd have added an E to that blue, and we'd have gotten blue. So you'd have said, les chaises, la chaise est bleue. The chair is blue. Singular chair, blue. La chaise est bleue. However, because it's more than one chair, we say les chaises sont bleues with an S at the end. And we have added an E and an S because it's feminine and plural. Everybody with me? Everybody follow me? We've done this before. Everybody get it? Yes, me? miss. Yes, miss. If you're not understanding, now is your chance to speak up and speak out. Go ahead. I'm listening. Mr. saying that the screen is blue. Pardon me? They're saying that the screen is gray. Oh. oh Miss, sorry. I think it's blurry for everyone, but you're supposed to still can see you. Pardon me? Miss, it's blurry for everyone, but, you, but they still can see somewhat of what is on the screen. All right. Thanks for that. Okay, I need one more person. Vu blank boo. Boo, boo, boo. Vu blank boo. What, what goes in the blank space? How do you conjugate être there? Is somebody raising their hand? Let me hear from Caitlin. Bonjour, Caitlin. How are you doing? Comment ça va, ma fille, my girl? How you doing? Boo, blank, boo. Boo. Why am I saying boo? What is that? Boo. Woo, blank, boo. Boo. I think it's because of that. Anyway, how do you conjugate? Être when it comes to vous. What do we put right here? Go ahead, Caitlin. That's the them with your. Yeah. Miss S. Spell it, please. E T E S. Very good. Remember that this E has an accent circumflex, the roof one, accent circumflex. Everybody say accent. Accent. accent, accent, like accent, 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 circumflex, 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 right, so it's accent, circumflex, very important to know the accents from now, all right, so that's E with the accent, circumflex, E, accent, circumflex, E with the accent, circumflex, I don't know, what is that word in English? Good question. So, E with the, the roof accent thingy over it, okay? Vous êtes beau. You are handsome. Beautiful. Okay? You look nice. All right. So, use beau for males and use belle for females, okay? Miss, can I do number five? Just a second. 
Now, um, point of information, right? Point of information. Ooh, la, 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 la. Tell me something. Bo in this sentence, is it masculine? Sorry, is it singular or plural? Singular. singular. Wrong question. Bo in this sentence, is it singular or plural? Singular. Come again? Singular. 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 Why do you say it's singular? Why is it singular? Because Miss Vu means you. Right, but Vu can be more plural. Than one, Vu can be more than one. Vu can be plural as well. It can be singular formal. So if when you're speaking to me, like if they and I speaking to me, the teacher, she's going to use Vu as a sign of respect. Okay, if she's speaking to the prime minister, she's also going to use Vu. But if Dana is speaking to her friend Renique, right, she's going to use two because she's being familiar. She she knows her friend, they're on the same level of their friends, so she's gonna use two when speaking to her, right? Everybody with me on that so far? Yes, Miss. But if Dana is speaking to Renique and Kiara, what is she gonna use? Do you have any water? Esco two ah no, she's gonna use vu. Because even though she's friends with Kiara and Renique, she's speaking to more than one person, right? So she would use Vu in that situation, right? So if you're talking to one girl who's your friend, you're gonna be like, two girl, two girl, two. You know what? Two, yo, two. But if she's speaking to more than one friend, a family member, person that she's familiar with, she's gonna be like, Vu girl, Vu yo, Vu, 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 Vu. Okay, everybody with me? Yes, so you use two is always an on a singular, singular and informal. When you're using two, it's because it's the, you're speaking to one person and you're familiar with that person. However, vu can be used two ways. It can be used to speak to one person that you're not familiar with or that you're showing respect to. Okay? Or you can use vu when you're speaking to more than one person, whether persons that you're not familiar with, so you're being formal with them, or more than one of your friends, okay? So once it's plural, you're gonna use vu. Yes, yes. Okay, let me go again for that part, all right? Normally, to make a word plural in French, you add an S. We all knew that, right? We all follow that part, yes? Yes, me. Okay. Yes. However, there are some exceptions. So, if we wanted to put... Yes, Kara. Kara, your hand is up. If that means I don't understand. Pardon me? If that means I don't understand. Alright. So, normally to make a word plural, we add an S, okay? So I was asking the question, is vu in the sentence singular or plural, right? And I'm saying it's singular, okay? How do we know it's singular? In the same way that we know here that les chaises is plural, because we have the big old lay in front of it, all right? We can identify that pronouns are plural, that they're referring to more than one person. In the case of nu, for, sorry, in the case of vu, I'm saying to you guys that vu can be both singular or plural, as we know, because we discussed this already, but let's recap, right? So I said to you guys before that if you're speaking to the principal of your school, you would not address her using tu. She's not your peer. She's not your classmate. You use vu as a sign of respect in French and in other, well, let's just stick with French, okay? So you use vu as a sign of respect when you're speaking to persons in authority or when you're speaking to persons who you have just met. You're not going to get familiar with them and start using, the, using tu, all right? Tu is reserved for your family and your friends and persons that you know, okay? When you're meeting someone for the first time, you're going to use vous 
and when you are speaking to someone who is in authority as a sign of respect you're going to use vu as well okay with me so far yes miss all right so in such an instance if we're speaking to one person we know that vu is can be singular if we're speaking to one person alone you're going to use vu and i said for example when you come to class if you want to say something to me you could say excusez moi mademoiselle you could say vous avez un crayon do you have a pencil vu when you're addressing me in class you're going to say you're going to use vu why it's a sign of respect to your teacher okay if michaela is speaking to anastasia what is she going to use to address anastasia tu or vu tu she's going to use tu why is she going to use tu you be friends because you guys are friends your classmates you're on the same you, you are familiar with each other, right? Since September until now, I'd like to think that, you know, you'd be familiar with each other, right? So if Michaela is speaking to Anastasia, once you're speaking to a friend, you're going to use two. But imagine if Michaela were speaking to Anastasia and you're speaking to Rihanna and even Ariane and Chanel and Caitlin. Michaela is speaking to all of our friends in the class. Can she still use two? No. Can Michaela still use two to speak to all of her friends in the class? No, no miss. Why? No. Because, two, because is two is singular. singular two is always and only singular. Okay? Two is always and only singular. All right? Now, that's the thing. That's where vu comes in. So, vu is formal, singular, formal. Right? It can be formal, singular. Formal and singular meaning you're using it respectfully to speak with a teacher or one teacher or one prime minister or one somebody on the road that you just meet. Okay, the so vu can be used formal singular. However, vu can also be plural. Okay, and if Michaela were speaking to the entire classroom of her friends, then she would use vu. That does not mean that she's being formal with them. That just means that she's speaking to more than one somebody more than one person okay everybody with me on that yes yes yes, yes. and your body's still not understanding no. going once going twice all right now let's get to the exits right so we said normally in french we always said that the adjective has to agree in gender and in number with the noun or pronoun that it's modifying, that it's, you know, describing, all right? We said the adjective, beau, which means handsome, it has to agree in gender and in number with the pronoun or the noun that it is modifying. Everybody with me there? I'm sorry about my very okay. terrible okay. and nourished looking arrow. Okay, so beau is describing vu, yes? Bo yes, yes. means handsome, and the sentence is saying the sentence is saying you are handsome. All right. Now, this is a bit more difficult. Okay, you you get there in time, but I just wanted to introduce it to you from today. Right. Now we can tell the gender of vu. Okay, there's no name there. There's no lay, no article to indicate that. Okay, this is plural or anything. So vu. You can tell if it's singular or plural by looking at the adjective. Why? Because the adjective has to agree in gender and in number. If the adjective is, if the pronoun or noun is feminine or masculine, you will know in French. If it is singular or plural, you will know. So that's why I said the adjective must agree in gender and in number with the pronoun or the noun. This is a pronoun that's given to who. Hello? Miss, the pronoun would be masculine because um, the adjective means handsome, which is often used for males. That is so correct. So that describes a pronoun, which is masculine. Exactly. So because we know that beau means handsome and belle means beautiful, okay? We had that in English as well. We do not use belle for males well at least at one point but society has gotten so twisted i don't even know but we do not use bell for 
males, okay? We use bo, okay? Now, vous êtes bo, because we're using bo here, and this adjective is always modifying or describing the pronoun or the noun, right? We know that this vous here would have to be a masculine person or a masculine thing, okay? A masculine person, right? So you're saying you are handsome, okay? However, how can we tell if it's singular or plural? I was saying to you guys that normally in French, we add an S. Normally we add an S to make a word plural, okay? So because, let's work with les chaises. Let me, let's do the chaises. We're working with les chaises. So le is masculine singular, but les, is plural, whether feminine or masculine. Everybody with me so far? Everybody with me? Yes. So we know that lay is plural, indicates plurality, okay? And because lay is plural, we know that we have to add an S to the end of chaise to make the word plural as well. There are some exceptions, but this one is not an exception. Everybody with me on this? Yes, miss. Right? Yes, Everybody miss. with me? Anybody not following? Did I lose anybody somewhere? Anybody struggling along and hanging on for dear life? Anybody lost in the wilderness? Let me know. Have no shame. Feel no shame. You're here to learn. They can repeat, but the lay the the chaise for. Okay. So lay chaise. Once we see L E S in front of a noun, we know that that noun is plural, okay? Now, chaise we know is a feminine word. Chaise by itself is feminine. And to make chaise plural, we added an S, okay? And because les chaises is feminine plural, the word would normally be B-L-E-U, bleu, okay? Bleu, that's a neutral one, blue, okay? But to make blue Feminine, we have to add a an e to it. That's how we get blue. And then to make it plural, because les chaises is feminine, blue, and plural also, we have to also add an s to account for its fe the femininity of chaise and the plurality of chaise. Everybody with me so far? Everybody yes, follow that? Yes, so because chaise is feminine plural, the word is normally bleu, but to account for the femininity of the chaise, the chair that the blue is describing, we're saying that the chair is blue in color, the chairs are blue in color, to account for the gender of chair, we have to add an e to blue, and to account for the femininity of the chair in gender, we have to add an S. Everybody follow me. Everybody with anybody not yes, with me, anybody not following. Okay. That's how that's how we got les chaises sont bleu with E S, right? So all of this to say that normally to make a word plural in French, we normally add an S at the end of it, right? But I was saying that there are some exceptions, okay? No, I was saying that vous êtes beau, vous êtes beau. Vous is masculine because beau applies to males, right? And I'm saying it's also singular because beau is an, ex an exception. If beau were describing a, a plural vous, if beau we're describing this pronoun. If this pronoun, let me put it that way. If vu were plural, bo would have an X on it because B-E-A-U-X is plural handsome. More than one somebody, more than one young man being handsome is bo with an X at the end. Everybody got that? Anybody has any questions? Yes, 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 yes. Anybody has any questions? Michaela, you got that? Kelly, say you got that? Yes, miss. All right. So please note that whenever you want to say they, they are handsome, let's say they are handsome, okay? Let's put it in the context again. So if we're saying they are handsome, 
how would we write that sentence? They are handsome. Il sont beau. Thank you very much. Il sont spelled beau. B E A U X. Everybody see that now? They are handsome. Il sont beau. All right. Masculine plural. Okay, everybody with me on that yes, one? Shall we proceed? Yes, Mrs. Yes, Miss. Okay. I feel like I could check out drink of water. Anyhow. Thank God. All right, ma mère et moi. Ma mère et moi. What does ma mère et moi mean? My mother, mother and I. My mother and I. Wonderful. No. No. Which pronoun can substitute for my mother and I? Ma mère et moi. L. Who said L? No, Miss. Miss. Miss either L, L or no. Miss, Miss, I say no. Miss, Miss, no. Who said L? Miss, 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 and Anastasia say L. Who says no? I'm making no, it up with L. Who says no? Raise your hand. Say, I say no. Miss, I don't say L, Miss, I say no. No, Miss, I'm sorry. Right. Say, I all right, me. so listen carefully yeah, now to me again, all right? Listen real good. Listen real, real good. Listen real good, all right? Whenever you see a moi in a sentence, somebody's echoing. Could you just mute your microphone, please? Just, I think it's, I'm not sure who it is, all right? So whenever you see a moi in a sentence, we know that a moi means and I, okay? All right. Ma mère et moi. My mother and I. How do we normally say I? Je. 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 Thank you very much. Je. But whenever we're saying somebody plus myself, you'd say that somebody no. et moi. Okay? No. So I'm saying to you now. This is in the video you... that you posted. You said that. Man, it's in the, yes, I'm just re I'm just reiterating, emphasizing. So we're saying, ma mère et moi, my mother and I. Whenever you see a moi, put yourself directly in the sentence and imagine that the moi that is that is being referred to is and I, Anastasia, or and I, Ria, and I, Amelia, and I, Kiara, and I, Michaela, and I, Rihanna. Mamir and I, my own mother, Miss Taylor's mother, and Miss Taylor. This is and I, okay? So put yourself directly in the sentence. Involve yourself with that I. Whenever you see I, just involve yourself with it, okay? And say, that I is speaking about me, Miss Taylor. That I is speaking about me, Nakela. That I is me, Aliana, okay? So say, ma mère et moi. Now, when you put yourself directly in that sentence, which Pronoun can substitute for ma mère et moi. New. New. New like new shoes. No, it's like me. New. New. Uh, new. Like new. Oh, wait, new like new. Winnie the Pooh, we say new. All right. So that would be new. Not L. Not il. Not they. Not you. It is new. We. So that is the pronoun that can substitute for ma mère et moi. Praise God. All right. So now that we've identified the pronoun, how do we conjugate the verb? It's some would be the verb. Some. Ma mère et moi, some mignon. Ma mère et moi, some mignon. And what does that mean? It means we are, Magnon means cute. We, we are cute. My mother yes. and I are cute. I are cute. Nice. My mother and I are cute. My mère moi son mignon. My mother and I are cute. Okay? Everybody with me? Anybody not with me? Did I lose anybody along the way? Ali? Go ahead. Some of you are just so quiet. I hope that you are, you know, 
Chanel, you there? Tonian, Michaela, Sava. Yes, Miss. You comprehend? Do you understand? Yes, Miss. All right, next one. Somebody who has not yet spoken. Alianas or somebody. One person. Go ahead. I won't say who. What goes here? This is easy. Miss, what Blanc. is the word at the end? Ajay. Ajay. What do you think it means? Age. Age. Ajay. Old. I think it means age. Yes, it is. This is either age or old. Okay, now, um, in certain countries, well, in France, you don't really go and tell people that they're old. I mean, it can be considered insulting. So, I think, like, I don't know. You, that's for real life. Yeah, even here, you don't really say somebody's old to their face. It could come across very, like, you know, mean. So, age means elderly, okay? It does mean old, but it's a safer way to say old. We're going to look at just now, my God, time is going, at how to say, how to describe person. I'm going to look at that. So, age means old, okay? So, what goes in the blank space here? One person. Go ahead, Chanel. Go ahead. I saw you on mute your microphone. You will not escape. Go ahead. It's just ES. Very good. It's ES. Chue Age. Is that Chanel Wright or Chanel? Hold on, who's that? A Chanel? Chanel Wright. Chanel Wright, okay. All right, Chue Age. You are elderly. You're up in your age, you know? All right, Mama Mi et toi. Mama Mi et toi. Vieux. What does vieux mean? Okay, first of all, what does Mama Mi et toi mean? Mama Mi et toi. This Mama Mi means grandma. My grandmother and? My mother and you. My grandmother and you. You got this one in the quiz. My grandmother and you, sorry. Or you and, you and my grandmother, okay? You and my grandmother, yes, yes. okay? Et toi. No. Tell me something about toi. What do you what do you think toi means? Is it formal or informal? Formal? I don't know. Um, it's... Mami et toi. Is toi formal or informal? Toi. Uh, yes, I think it's yes, informal. informal. Very good. What does it look like? Yes, it like... What does toi look like? Ooh. This is what you mean when you say what does it yeah, mean? What, which pronoun does it remind you of? Oh, you. You. Which you? You. It reminds us of two. Oh, all right. Two. So instead of saying mama me et you, instead of saying my mother and you like two, you'd say mama, mama me et toi. It's the same thing that we did with moi instead of je. Everybody following me? Yes, it's called like a disjunctive pronoun because, yeah, same rule like with like with moi, same applies here. So it's my grandmother in addition to you person that I know very well, so I can call you toi. Like how I use two with you, I'm saying mama me, et toi, all right? Now, which pronoun can substitute for mama me, et toi? Which pronoun can no. substitute for my Come again. No. Come again. It's L. Who said L? Dana Williams. L E L L E S. Okay. Who yes. else yes. are we saying? Miss No. N O U S. Yes, Miss U. Somebody said no. Somebody said ill. We're hearing a lot of responses. Yes, miss. We're saying my, if I'm saying, if Anastasia, miss if you're M. speaking and you're saying my grandmother or you and my grandmother are going to, what are they going to do? You and my grandmother are 
I don't know. I'm blank right now. No, I'm not blank. Yes, you and my grandmother are give going like... to the supermarket. You Miss, and my grandmother are leaving. Like... Come again? Miss, can I give a reason for why I said that? Why you said what? L. L. It's L. No, it's not it's L. A... I haven't heard the correct answer yet. Mama me et toi. So I'm saying, listen very carefully to the um to the example that's been given, right? I'm saying, you and my grandmother are getting out of hand right now. You and my grandmother are getting out of hand. Both of you are getting out of hand. Which pronoun could substitute for Mama me et toi? L. Miss E L L E S. That's they. Okay, if I said you and my grandmother are going to come again, it will be Vu. Why would it be Vu? Who said Vu just now? Tell me why it would be Vu. It's because in the sentence you can use blue as a. I'm not hearing you. Go again. Go again. Hold on. I'm not hearing you. Why would it be vu? What? Can I it's because oh, Because what? It's because in that sentence vu is vu can be used as a plural pronoun. Fine. So if I'm speaking and I'm saying I'm saying to whoever Twa is, I'm saying to Anastasia, you and my grandmother are getting out of hand. I am speaking to Anastasia. I know Anastasia well, and I know my grandmother well. And I'm saying, Mama me et toi are getting out of hand. Mama me et toi are getting out of hand. Okay? Who am I speaking to? I'm speaking to Anastasia. And I'm saying, you and my grandmother are getting out of hand. So I'm saying, both of you are getting out of hand. Everybody follow that? So the pronoun would have to be you. It is said in the sentence. Right? And remember that we said for this one right here. This one is a bit bigger than you guys. We're not going to do this again. Boo. All right, so we said boo. We, ju we just explained the whole boo thing, right? How it can be both singular or plural, right? So in this case, the toi here just indicates that I know the person I'm speaking to. My mommy et toi, you and my grandmother. I'm familiar with this person that I'm saying toi to. You and my class. grandmother, right? However, I'm speaking about two persons, so it would be boo. Does everybody follow me? I was right. Who does not follow? So which which pronoun would go in the blank space? What which how would you conjugate the verb in the blank space here? What would go here? Uh, Come again? Uh, e -E Just remember, once you see a toi, pronoun is boo. Once you see something et toi, it's vous. Once you see something et moi, it's we, oui, nous. All right? Et moi, nous, et toi, vous. Et moi, nous, et toi, vous. Just remember that, okay? And as we progress, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. All right? Ok, ok, donc voilà, c'est tout. Je vous remercie. Thank you so much. I trust you had a wonderful experience and I trust that, you know, conjugating verb, the verb et will be a breeze from now on. So up, up and away. À l'infini et au-delà, to infinity and beyond as you conjugate verbs and you construct sentences in French. Au revoir, à la prochaine. Ciao, bye.